Unless he took him off at a Chuck E. Cheese and forgot it, like... How can you trust Rice Gum if he doesn't even remember where his shoes are? I can't. You can't? Yeah. Right? <laughs> What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health, and sometimes it's about addiction, too. But what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community, try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So, you probably are aware of this, but Jake Paul and Rice Gum are caught up in a whole, whole, whole new gambling scam. But real quick, you know what's not a scam? Helping me get to 10,000 followers on Instagram. So go follow me. All I want is a little swipe up feature. That's it, it doesn't cost a penny. But anyways, yeah, so I first heard about this when I saw H3's video, I saw a bunch of other people are talking about it. I just saw that the new PewDiePie is talking about it. So I wanna take this at a different angle. And as you saw from the intro, I got a little surprise for you. So stay tuned to the end of this video because we're also gonna be talking about our responsibility as parents. But anyways, those of you who don't know me, I'm a recovering drug addict and alcoholic and I've worked in addiction treatment and I'm a big nerd when it comes to the science of addiction as well as mental health and all of that. So one thing that we have to understand, okay, is that children's brains are not fully matured brains. And that's what makes what's happening right now extra scummy, okay? So some of you have been subscribed. I talk a lot about the prefrontal cortex and how it's designed. So you have the prefrontal cortex. Think about that as the brake system of the car, okay? And then you have the limbic system, which is like the, uh, the engine of the car, right? So the engine is what tells you to go, 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 and the prefrontal cortex is what tells you to stop. Well, the prefrontal cortex doesn't develop until your mid-20s to uh, late 20s, okay? So what happens is, is that kids, when they gamble, they're getting an excess flood of dopamine and their brain doesn't tell them to stop. And yes, this mystery box stuff is totally gambling. Now, when it comes to loot boxes and loot crates and things like that, that is, that is in a similar realm. I know, I, I believe it's in Australia. They've actually outlawed um, loot boxes in video games because it's so much similar to gambling. But what we're seeing right now is absolutely disgusting. So what I wanna read to you real quick is some of the latest research that's come from the Gambling Commission over in the UK. So it says, it is deeply concerning to learn that 55,000 11 to 16 year olds are classified as problem gamblers, a number that has quadrupled in the past two years. Added to that, there are another 70,000 11 to 16 year olds who are considered at risk of developing a problem compared to other potentially harmful activities. The rate of gambling in the past week among young people is higher than the rates of drinking alcohol, smoking cigarettes, or taking illegal drugs. This underlines the need to treat gambling in Britain as a serious public health issue. Children are growing up in a very different world to the one in which their parents did. The Gambling Commission reports that 450,000 11 to 16 year olds are gambling on average of 16 pounds per week. Significantly, 59% of 11 to 16 year olds have seen gambling advertisements on social media compared, to, uh, compared with 66% on television. More than one in 10 11 to 16 year olds follow gambling companies on social media and they are three times more likely to spend money on gambling. Of those who have ever played online gambling style games, 24% follow gambling companies online. So we need to talk about this, like this is insane. So obviously that, that was a, a study from Britain, but this is a huge issue in the United States as well. So one of the risk factors for addiction, right? Like we need to understand, like addiction doesn't just happen, okay? One of the risk factors is at the age in which you start doing something. So it's not just drugs, it's not just alcohol, it's not just smoking, it's also gambling. Because like I said, since the prefrontal cortex isn't fully developed, it makes young people more prone to doing that behavior. One of the reasons why is because you're developing unhealthy coping skills. So a lot of problem gamblers who are adults, if you can imagine them, they're going there and they're trying to escape their sadness or their anxiety or their anger or whatever it is. And they're using that as an outlet rather than drinking or using drugs. So one of the reasons I'm making this is to drop some tough love because after A3A3's video, I saw that Jake Paul tweeted this. That's right, LOL, loved this vid. And like, it is absolutely disgusting. Like what a garbage 
dude, okay? Like, we know, we now know for a fact that Jake Paul knows exactly what he's doing, especially from the Nerd City follow-up video where Jake Paul goes out and teaches people how to take advantage of young people to get them to spend their money. And what's even more disgusting is that throughout his video, he was using trigger words that will excite young people. This is fun, man. I'm in a mystery box more often. Like fun and game and it's like Christmas because he knows that appeals to kids. Like that is absolutely terrible. And something that makes me sad, even though I'm focusing on Rice Gum and Jake Paul, is that I found out Zayn from the Vlog Squad is up in this too. And I'm like, oh my God, like you guys, like I, I don't know. And I'm not trying to preach and be this like holier than thou dude, but like you guys, like, we need to, especially as influencers, we need to take more responsibility for what we're doing and what we're promoting, all right? Gabby Hanna and Tana just got into their whole ordeal with Kenza Cosmetics, and this is a thousand times worse. Like, these are people, like especially Rice Gum and Jake Paul, they know, they know for a fact that they got a young audience and they're promoting this to these kids. But here's the thing. We need to take responsibility as parents. Like, I'm not gonna lie. We have to take responsibility as parents. As parents, we cannot sit around and just say, oh, hey, YouTube, teach my kid, do that. No, oh, oh, hey, girl, go watch YouTube. Like, we gotta be heavily involved. Like, we don't have to spy on our kids, but we need to be active and know who they're watching. I'm glad that I have an older demographic because some of you are parents, some of you will be parents, and I'm glad that you understand YouTube and we're talking about this, and some other YouTubers who have an older crowd too are talking about this to bring awareness to parents. Like, I want you to imagine this. So my son just turned 10 years old. His birthday was on New Year's Eve, okay, and Christmas was right before. He's 10 now. All he wanted was money and gift cards for Christmas. That's it, all right? Something that he got for um, his birthday was he got a cell phone too. So not only did my son just get a lot of cash, but he also has a phone to access stupid websites like this one that is encouraging gambling through a mystery box. Hypothetically, without me even knowing it, my son could do this. Now, luckily, and this is what I suggest for all parents, is that we have to have open dialogue with our kids. We have to talk to them about what they're watching. Like, I don't really care too much about who my son watches as long as he understands who is a good and a bad influence. It's the same thing that I'm doing with you, pulling in all these different YouTubers. I want you to look at it, and if you're watching it for pure entertainment value, cool. But if you are watching them to justify your own poor behavior or, or poor mental health, then we need to talk about it, okay? And that's why we need to talk to our kids about it. But anyways, as promised, I got a very special guest for you. And now, here's my very special guest. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, hi, I am Dylan. How old are you, Dylan? Uh, I just turned 10. All right, let's do this. I'm his son, by the way. If you couldn't tell. <laughs> you ready to watch some rice gum? Yeah. All right, let's do it. What it is, basically, Hold on, real quick. Segment. Dylan, do you see what this says? This is a scam. Don't buy from it. But, <laughs> but he's still showing it. Yeah. Yeah, I saw uh, one of my buddies on Twitter. He thinks that somebody uploaded this, and rice gum doesn't even know it's there. <laughs> but hey, but let me ask you this: Do you ever watch YouTube with captions on? Uh, sometimes when I don't understand or like think it's a separate word. Yeah. Okay. Just curious. All right. Full lightning to USB. All right. You know, I'm not into this technology stuff. I'm just gonna get the Supreme. That was not box. Right, so here poop. we go. We're gonna open the Supreme box. We'll Sixty dollars. So do you get get what this is saying? Yeah. Basically, they just want your money, and they're and probably every time they're just gonna give you something bad. <laughs> probably gonna give you something bad. Okay. Well, but, let's see. Rice gum. He's gonna spend his own money. Okay. And he's gonna get that fake poop. I bet. <laughs> let's see. So every time I try again, you're spending more money. Yeah. So, all right, yeah. All right, it's like gambling. These are kind of fun. Yeah. And then I have to sell it back for 140. So I low key made a profit. So I'm going to hang on to that. I'm going to just open up another one. Give me something. So, do you see that? You can buy it and then you could sell it back to them and make a bunch of money. Oh. Why? Does that sound good? Yeah. Yeah? So, do you think if you spent $60, because you just got Christmas money, you think you would get all that good stuff? Uh, Well, I wouldn't. Well, I might use it, but I would like my $400. <laughs> I got some Converse for a hundred dollars. Come Look, on. So those were seventeen dollars. So he spent a hundred and he could sell them back for seventeen dollars. That's gotta hurt. Yeah? So would you still do that? No. Oh yo, they finessing me right now, yo. Yo, all right, listen, He spent listen, another hundred dollars like a thousand dollars, right? Look, for a thousand dollars. Would you keep spending a hundred dollars to try to get that? 
No, why not? Because by the time, and all it is is shoes. <laughs> all it is is shoes. Okay, well let's keep watching. See if there's something something that you like a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. Right. I can sell it back for five hundred. So like it's, it's a profit, gambling. but like I already have to get the money. So like there's no losing in this because even if you get an item that you don't like, you there's no losing in this. But what if he got those other converses that were seventeen dollars? Isn't that technically losing? It depends what you think losing is when you're doing this. Well, what do you mean? See, it probably when, when he means by losing, he's not getting any money from it. Maybe. Well, yeah, but if you spent a hundred dollars and you got shoes worth seventeen dollars, is that losing? I'll I'll say that's a L. That that is an L. Yeah. All right, we don't take we don't take no L's. Oh so he spent three hundred dollars. He spent three hundred dollars already. Would you spend three hundred dollars trying to get a thousand dollars shoes? No. 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 Why? Because I don't want to waste my money on on stuff just to get it eventually. Yeah. You live in Las Vegas. Yeah. City of gambling. Yeah. Do you want to gamble? No. Why by, not? By the time I win the game, I'm gonna have the exact near maybe less money that I started with. So it's basically just a waste of time or a waste of money. Well said. Yeah. So like, at least in Fortnite, you know when you're spending money, you're getting yeah. something, right? For a fact, yeah. Yeah. You don't, like, spend V-Bucks in Fortnite and not get yes. something good. Yeah. You just spent $100 and got that. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, but not for 100 bucks. <laughs> that is kind of tight, but yeah, not $100 yeah. cool. Yeah. Why do I, yo, Converse are cool. You guys probably like Converse. I don't wear Converse. Why I'm do you so, keep doing it then? Like, because he's addicted to gambling, Dylan. Because like, he's addicted to gambling. It's the rush. Oh look, he's putting some cool music. Makes you want to do it, huh? No, this is actually a good shoot, yo. And here's the thing, Dylan. Here's the thing that we gotta understand. This dude is making millions of dollars. Yeah. So do you think a hundred dollars matters to him? No, not really. No, but does a hundred dollars matter to you? A lot. Do you think it a hundred dollars matters to your friends? Yeah, probably a lot. So why is this guy trying to act like a hundred dollars ain't no thing? When's the, before Christmas and your birthday, when's the last time you had a hundred dollars? In April? In April? In, of 2018. Yeah. Yeah. So what? Every nine months? Every 10 months you get $100? Yeah. Come on. Come on. $247 for that box? What you getting? Of course I got the fidget spinner. You got a Give fidget spinner. Stuff, like, I got like, why is he acting like this is a game, Dylan? This is real money. Yeah. Dylan. It's not, it's not like it's that's fake currency. Yeah. 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 Like, Dylan, if you came up in my room and told me that you spent all your Christmas money on this, how do you think I would react? Maybe mad and maybe you would be laughing. <laughs> He's right. I might laugh. I might be like, well, what did you learn from this? If you came in here and said, Daddy, Daddy, I spent $100 and I got a freaking fidget spinner. Yeah, I'd probably laugh. <laughs> we, we turned everything into a teachable moment here in the Boutte household. I didn't think I would ever see these again. I used to have them. I lost them. And like to think back, I forgot how do you how lose your shoes? Seventy-five dollar box. Yo, Dylan, how do you lose your shoes? Unless you took them off at a Chuck E. Cheese and forgot, like. Is that what's happening, Rice Gum? You go into Chuck E. Cheese losing your shoes, bro? But how do you lose your shoes at, at, at Chuck E. Cheese? Don't you think you'd leave Chuck E. Cheese and be like, "Yo, where are my yeah. shoes at?" Yeah. Like, you think you'd go all the way home and be like, oh, snap, yo, I forgot my shoes. Yeah, it's like, eventually something would hurt. Under so would you feet. trust a guy, would you, how can you trust Rice Gum if he doesn't even remember where his shoes are? I can't. You can't? Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so, Dylan, after watching Rice Gum play this mystery box game, do you want to go spend your money on this? No. No? What do you want to spend your money on? V-Bucks. V-Bucks. Yeah. Right? And stuff that I know for a fact I'll be getting. So if, if if a bunch of kids are watching you right now, what would you tell them about this mystery box? Would you tell them to go do it? I say you shouldn't do it, but no, I'm not saying you can't do it. You can, but it's not that good of an idea. It's not that good of an idea. Right. You know what else is not a good idea? Taking all of your money and your piggy bank and lighting it on fire. That's not a good idea either. Yeah. All right? So yeah, anyways, part of this is having healthy communication with your kids. So let's let's talk real quick. So basically, yeah. so do you think that's a good idea to spend hundreds of dollars no. trying to get something? No. What if what if you can get a a, a brand new Xbox? 
I, I already got one, and even if I didn't have any, I wouldn't keep spending hundreds of hundreds of dollars just to get an Xbox when you could just go to the store and get it for three hundred fifty yeah. bucks and not spend a thousand. So part of what you have to understand, and this is what how because we live in Las Vegas, so there's casinos obviously everywhere. Those of you who haven't been to Las Vegas, not only do we have casinos everywhere, but we also have like slot machines inside of like yeah. gas stations yeah. and grocery stores. So every company has to make money, okay? Mm -hmm. So in order for a casino or mystery box, in order for them to make money, like, like, do you think mystery box makes money if every time you put in a hundred dollars, you get something back for $10,000? Would they make any money off that? Not really. No, not at all. Right. Not at all. They would keep losing money. Yeah. So same thing with casinos. In order for them to make money, more people have to lose than win. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So all of this online betting and online gambling or mystery boxes things, they are set up to have more people lose than win. Right. That's why they're a bad idea. Does that make sense? Y yes. Okay. So let's imagine, let's imagine you had a bunch of Fortnite skins. You know how Fortnite skins are different yeah. levels and they're more expensive. So like, how much are like legendary skins? 2000 2000? 2000. Okay. So imagine if you had a bunch of legendary skins and you had a bunch of, you know, regular skins and everything like that. And people are giving you, what's the lowest skin amount? 800. 800. Yeah, okay. Or five, or five bucks for yeah. a starter pack. Okay. So let's say people were giving you five, 500 V bucks to get a random skin from your inventory, right? In right. order for you to make your V bucks back, you could barely ever give away a legendary skin. Right. You see what I mean? Uh -huh. So that's exactly the way that places like Mystery Box are set up. Does that make sense? Yeah. So they want people to lose. That's how they make their money. And it's yeah. not really cool of people like Rice Gum and Jake Paul to promote sites like that, right? Yeah. Because they're designed to have kids lose money. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So you guys, this is just about having conversations with your kids. We can't change the YouTubers out there. We can't make sure that they don't endorse crappy scam websites but what we can do is be educated about this stuff and then have a conversation with our kids about what these are so they know what to do what not to do how to stay away from stuff all right but anyways dylan can you tell them to please follow me on instagram uh follow him on instagram i don't know what his thing is but it might be in the link in the description it probably is it's probably right? on the screen right now oh as we're talking you know what I mean? Okay. All right. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. Thanks to all the Patreons and all of that. If you're wondering why you need to buy my books or sign up on Patreon, it's because of this adorable kid. This adorable little kid right here. He also needs money. Yeah, I need, I need money too. I need, but yeah, I need, I need, I play Fortnite too. I need V-Bucks. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Notification bells. Should they like the video? Like, yes. Yeah. All right. And yeah. All of that, yeah. Okay, cool. Say bye, Dylan. Bye. Make sure to talk to your kids. <laughs>